hello and welcome to my first sims play video i'm actually really excited for this so in today's video i'm just going to make a character and then find somewhere for them to live and maybe set up their house a bit so that is what is going on in this video just waiting for the loading obviously i'll tell you the expansion packs that i have They're like the game packs stuff packs all that sort of fun stuff Okay, so I have for expansion packs the Sims 4 Cat and Dogs, City Living, Get Together, Get to Work, Game Packs, Parenthood, Vampires, and Outdoor Retreat for stuff packs, fitness stuff, vintage glamour stuff, movie hangout stuff, and of course spooky stuff. And then for the free stuff holiday celebration, I didn't want the ghoulish guitar. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a new game and see what kind of sim I can make. So, that's always super exciting. I don't know why my loading screens are taking so long though. That is quite annoying. Why is the screen literally just white? Okay, there we go. Yas! Look at her eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so hello, my name is Trinity Pucket. Lilith Tinsley. Yeah, sure, that's a good name. And I'm going to have a young adult. Oh, I forgot you can choose the walk uh -oh. style. Ooh. Snooty walk. Is there a spooky walk? Uh. Oh. Creepy walk. Ah. Huh. Uh. We'll do feminine. Uh -oh. So I can walk. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> Mora, hey, you both that. I like a clear voice. And we're just going to. Mitzel, but Narla. Change like everything I just did. Okay. Flambo Regine. I really like this hair. <laughs> Yum, Larigaba. Combit by Yishirao. I wish to listen to something like Sarpava Chor. Look at her hair, that's so nice. Yep, it's her. Holy, this girl's pale. Omiva Shyla. I like that hat. I'm so picky when it comes to Sims. Like I just shuffle until I find one that just speaks to me. Pomeray Quas. Zuby Web. Ridaboo. Okay, I really like that hair. She's giving me like hippie vibes. <laughs> we're giving her a clear voice. Okay. So we're going to put some makeup on her. I know you can like super customize. Oh, she could be blue. <laughs> I know you can super customize everything, but I'm not really into that anymore because I find that I don't want to play the actual game if I super customize. We're gonna give her some purple eyes and her eyebrows. Oh look, she looks so like innocent and then she's more like mean. Okay. No brows. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I know they're like really thin, but I like those. I think those look good. And then I'm going to put some makeup on her. I'm thinking, where's eyeliner? I want some nice winged eyeliner. Whoa, that's pretty. The blue is really pretty. Or was that purple? 
that looks really nice with her eyes, but yeah, I like that. And then let's see for lips. Usually I don't put a lot of lipstick on. I don't think she needs lipstick. I had this on one of my other Sims. I think it looks Oh. I'm gonna have it match her eyes. Okay, so her hair. Oh, two tone. No, I like that. And then for formal. Oh gosh. That looks bad. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> for formal, let's see if we can give her some sort of fancy updo or something. That's cute. I want... No, that's not formal enough. That looks nice for formal. I don't want her to have glasses though. So we're going to get rid of the glasses so we can see her face more. And then we can do the athletic hair. I really do not like that hat. So how do we get rid of hats? No hats. Maybe some sort of ponytail all of a sudden she has bangs like okay that is fancy hair there's some like Lana Del Rey hair there actually for her everyday hair I like that hair <laughs> Lana vibes okay sorry if you don't know I am like obsessed with Lana Del Rey so yeah that's just gonna be her hair for everything I love it it's great <laughs> okay so now we're going to go into clothing. That is a pretty shirt. Holy, this is ugly. Actually, no, that looks nice. I thought it would be ugly just from the pattern, but I actually think that's pretty cool. I don't know what to put her in. Hmm, what is this? Random, oh gosh. I feel like she could look good in anything with that hair though. Holy, okay. I like this. The purple goes with her eyes and her lips. That's perfect. And then formal, I want to put her in some sort of dress. But I think she needs something a little bit more fierce. Okay, she's not wearing accessories. That looks bad. How do I get rid of her necklace? Maybe that's part of the dress? No, she's literally just wearing a necklace. <laughs> Bracelets, leggings. How do I get rid of this necklace? I don't, I don't want it. Hmm. Why does she look so tired? I don't know. None of these outfits are really speaking to me. This gives her like no shape. Why does she look so sleepy? Okay, I need to figure out her outfit still. Formal. It's cute, a little little two-piece. Hmm. Holy, okay. I don't know. This is giving me some... There's something going on here. That's good. Athletic. Look at her hair. It's so cute. So for athletic top, I feel like she would wear something like this. And then she needs some sort of pants. Dang, she got hips. Okay. kind of pants I'd have her wear. See, I like those. If she could wear, like, a skirt. Yeah, that looks good. I'm not into these shoes, though. I think she needs some, like, nice little running shoes, but I gotta put them black. 
that's a pretty fancy outfit, whatever. And then for sleep, let's see what sort of- oh, is this just a towel? That's a towel. So we're just gonna put her in some pajamas. Purple. Blue. Oh, little bunnies. That's so cute. Okay. And then, what is this? A party outfit. I want her to wear something different. That is cute. Okay. I think that was really good. I do not like these shoes. I want something strappy. These have a strap. Oh, okay. These are nice. Are there no super, super strappy? These are the only strappier ones. Swimwear. Let's see. What will she wear swimming? This is cute. And then for bottoms, can I get some matching bottoms? Yes, but sunglasses. How did she get sunglasses? Would that be under hair? I guess it would be. Okay. I want red sunglasses, of course. <laughs> and then necklaces. I mean, she doesn't need to wear a necklace, obviously, but... I think it looks really good. I don't want her wearing a bracelet though, that's strange. Ooh. Okay, cool. So now we're going to give her some traits. So for her um, aspiration, I'm going to do, I think, knowledge. And I'm going to have her be... A nerd brain, so both book smart and handy. And then I'm gonna have her be romantic. Oh, so <laughs> and then cat lover. <laughs> and then I'm also going to have her be ambitious. Uh -huh. Perfect. So that is my sim. Oh god, she looks crazy. Okay, there she's serving looks okay so that is the sim i forget her first name her last name is tinsley i think and i want her to live in an apartment so i'm going to have to go apartment hunting so the town that has apartments is san maishuno oh that's cute bats this is gonna be like a dog yeah okay so this is the town, and let's see what she can afford. So it looks like she can afford this one, that, and here. Where do I want her to live? The spice market. Okay, so she can afford this unit. Needs a TLC, lively neighbors. This is cute. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Two bedroom, one bath. Three bedroom, one bath. Two bedroom, one bath. This one has gremlins, so we're definitely not getting that one. This is haunted, that's cute. It is just a little small like starter apartment. Oops. Can't get this one. Good schools and oh, she could have kids. Actually. This is really cute for like a little starter. The rooms are really small though, actually. Two bed, one bath. See, I really like it, this one. Even though it's really large. Oh, this one here is small. That would have been like perfect. Three bed, one bath. She doesn't need something that big yet, though. Needs TLC. I think that means the things break a lot. So we can start. I don't like that, though. This one says it's historical and haunted. Okay, so 
18 Culpepper House, once home to a famous local chef, legend holds that pufferfish nigiri was invented in this very kitchen. Additionally, the dining room boasts brand new clean floors and fresh paint throughout. Okay, so she's going to live here. So, unfurnished. Furnished. I'm going to have it furnished. Just so there's sort of all the furniture there. And I don't have to focus on going over my budget and then I'll sell the things that I don't like and replace them with things that I do like. So what I always tend to do is I sell the bed and I buy a better bed. <laughs> Don't forget to pay your rent. What is this? Okay, so we're going to build mode. And where's her apartment? Here. Okay. This is a lot smaller than I thought it was. That's cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is sell this bed because I like my sims to have really nice sleeps. So let's see the most expensive bed we can afford. That's a nice bed. So I'm gonna get this tufted and tucked. So that took up a lot of the budget, but that's okay. And then she has a desk, which is good. I'm just going to get her a computer and let's see. I don't need anything super fancy. She has a TV and everything already. Let's see if we are going to get a better bathtub. She needs a job. She has an uncomfortable toilet. So we're going to find a more comfortable toilet. I don't like the look of that. barely any money now. So this is the plaque that you can't remove. Bought you for power. Okay. Fast internet. I like that. Haunted. I don't want it to be haunted. Oh, okay, historical. I can't remember. That's good. I want to keep that anyways. Natural light. Romantic aura. No, I like to focus more on skills. So that looks good to me. And then there's one thing I wanted to get still. That is maybe an easel if I can afford it. I, I can't afford an easel. <laughs> That's sad. And I can't afford anything else. Okay, so I need to get my sim to get a job. So I'm going to do a little tour of the house. I could sell this. So she has her bed, her computer, desk, bookshelf. This is her kitchen. It's actually adorable. She has a little, little coffee maker. Her bathroom. It doesn't look too bad. Her house doesn't have very many windows though. Let's see if she can read this. So I'm going to make her go read the plaque. Do we get to read it, or does she just get to read it? Oh, okay. Oh, her name is Lilith. Right. So, this is what she looks like. 
So she wants to buy a talking toilet. No. Finish reading a book. Oh yes, I'll show you what she likes to do. Finish reading three books. Achieve level three logic skill. And then she wants to repair, upgrade an object, craft an object on the woodworking table, achieve level six logic skill, level five handiness, launch or upgrade a rocket five times, own a rocket ship, achieve level 10 object, or sorry, I was reading the next thing, achieve level 10 logic skill, and fix or upgrade five objects. So that is what she would like to do. So that is going to conclude this episode of playing The Sims with Ashneys. Ptswa, <laughs> as the acronym is. <laughs> so in the next episode, I'm going to get her a job. And once she has enough money, I'm going to get her a cat as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and feel free to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Oh yes, and if you have any expansion, well, I have all the expansion packs, but if you have any stuff packs that you think I should get, just let me know in a comment below, and I hope you have a great day or a great night, wherever you are.